Welcome, my name is SP, and today, guys, we're going to be talking about the top five best features coming in for Forsaken Shores update that we kind of know about or that I've kind of speculated about and have a bit of theories on here, guys. So, getting right into the list, coming in at number five, guys, we have all of the new cosmetics that already have just looked incredible from the trailer that we saw. The fire, like, robes looked so, so cool. There was a sword basically made of fire, like, glowing lava. I think there's face paint like, with, like, ashes and, like, eye color you can change, I think, and the new cos cosmetic update type thing going on there. Um, just the, the hats were all fire. The outfits were all made of fire. There was, like, rings of fire around people's necks. They had, like, chains of fire. There, it, this is all fire-themed. It's, it's like the ghost Athena stuff, but instead of all blue and ghostly, it's all red and fire and, like really really bright colors and it just it looks so so cool guys really looking forward to being able to get in that seeing how you get that if you just buy it or i'm guessing that it'll be like some type of you know like new area quest type thing going on there but also with the ship guys the new ship looks so so sick like they showed it like a little bit the figurehead is made of fire once again it's like that same fiery sort of glow that we have been seeing from the from the weapons and from the uh, the robes and stuff. I can't wait to see like the eye of reach with all the fire on it, guys. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say fire in this episode, in this video, but it's probably gonna be a lot. Not even gonna lie because oh my god, there's there it's just all fire themed and I love it. I love it so much because it doesn't make sense. It's like oh ocean water. How are you bringing fire into this? I don't know how they're doing it either, but it's gonna be amazing. Okay, it's gonna be incredible. Honestly, I cannot. Wait for this update, guys. It's going to be so sick. The fire updates. Oh, the fire cosmetics. is going to be so great. <sighs> Let's get into number four. Number four, okay? New loot, guys. That's right. I talked about my last uh, my last video. There has been... There's fire chests in the trailer, okay? And, like, fi a fire goblet, basically. Like, it just looks like the um, old goblets, but with, like, fire in it. Like, fire crystal type things going on here. It all looks the same. It's like that cartoony, like, fiery, like, you know, kind of... I don't know, like wavy flames type going on, but it's like kind of lava almost, like lava rocks, so that's really cool. But yeah, I think that the whole, the area that we're heading into is going to have its own loot, and it might have its own features and stuff. It might have like, you know, you have to wait for the fire to die down before you can sell it to like a vendor or something like that, which would be a really, really cool feature, if I'm being completely honest, but I mean, I'm just speculating. I don't actually know that hasn't been confirmed, but I, I could assume that there were, that the new loot... Showing the trailer is going to look something like that, you know. It's gonna it's gonna be some something really cool, and hopefully, you know, we'll be able to get our hands on it and see, you know. And hopefully, it won't just be like a reskinned chest, like a, a reskinned seafarer's chest. It'll actually like be something worthwhile um, to the game and like new innovation instead of just the same thing, but just reskinned. And so, coming at number three, guys, we have a brand new islands. Okay, so this is actually very very cool. We're going to be having brand new islands, okay, obviously, in the new Devil's War area, which is going to mean that you're not going to see the same, you know, however many islands are on the game right now, over and over and over again for the same voyages. Now you will have more islands to go to, more places to do voyages, more chests, you know, you know, more chest locations, more riddles, which is going to be really cool to figure out new riddles. I, like, know all of them right now. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, more X's to go to, obviously, and more lore, because there's going to be lore involved in these islands. Each island usually has lore, which is really cool. And you're going to see different features on islands, different spots for cannons, all that good fun stuff. Gunpowder barrels, you know. New fortresses, possibly, maybe, in the Devil's Roar area. That'd be really cool. But obviously, it's volcanoes and stuff, its own environment. It's going to have its own kind of feel to it, which is really nice, guys. I like that. It's a new region. It's going to be really fun. I love the three regions so far, but it, it does need another one that's kind of, like, exciting and wild and stuff. Because it does, you know, it gets a little dull going to the same spots over and over and over again. And, uh, you know, you, you don't really have a new biome to experience. But now they are adding that in, which is going to be great, guys, honestly. All right. I'm super excited for the lava and geysers and ash and all that and the rowboats and everything. So I, I'm looking forward to it. I really am. It's going to it should be a good time with the with the new islands. I'm thinking that the lore, there'll be new books, there'll be all that stuff, new voyages based around fire stuff, possibly, which is going to be really cool. So, yeah, it should it should be a good time. But coming in at number two, guys, we have new enemies okay this one is i'm hoping this is a thing i don't think it's been confirmed yet but i'm imagining that it will be confirmed at some point okay if i'm being honest and that is in the form of like a fire skeleton or you know just some type of like lava skeleton type monster because they can't just put in all this fire and then not give us like some form of a, a lava fire breathing skeleton or a lava monster or something or a giant crab wink wink but <laughs> but yeah guys I, I really think there's going to be a new 
um, enemy, and that's probably going to be revealed in the quest. That's going to be like, like the new quest line. It'll kind of show us the enemy, introduces it to us maybe in a way, or they'll just be like, hey, there's these new like Ash skeletons or something like that. But I hope to hope to hope that they're going to add another form of skeleton because the game, once again, it needs variation in the in the mobs that you fight. It's just the same ones over and over. It'd be nice that when you go to a new area, instead of fighting them, you fight brand new people, so you can go like back and forth. Like, if I want to fight re regular skeletons, go to the regular place. If I want to fight lava skeletons and flaming skeletons and burning skeletons, I go to that place. So it'd be a great balance if we had those two like choices to choose from, either you know fire or kind of regular. And it doesn't just have to be fire. It could be like, you know, I don't know, like dark or like ash skeletons or something like geyser skeletons. I don't, I don't know. I'm just throwing random ideas out there. There could be different skeleton ships, like with the cursed cruise type thing. They could have, um, you know, like a fire ship or some crazy thing where they just shoot like vol those volcanic rock things at you instead of actual cannonballs. That'd be pretty epic. But yeah, I'm hoping that's going to be involved in the game. Haven't really seen anything confirmed to that, but. I think it'll be in there, guys. And coming in on our number one spot, guys, for the top five best features coming in for Forsaken Shores, we have the new quest and the new voyages. So, if you don't know, the Merchant Alliance is getting a new voyage where you basically have to do, like, a cargo run. You take the cargo to a place, like, you get the cargo. You don't have to go find some animals, which is amazing. So, you'll be able to do stuff on time. You'll be able to get Merchant Alliance a lot easier, and it's really a lot more fun. And the, the better you have your cargo, like, safe, the more, the more uh, gold you're going to get. So that should be a really good voyage. That'll be a new one that you can do stuff with over and over and over again to choose from instead of just doing the same things with that within uh, all the voyage like alliances and stuff. And then on top of that, we have the new quest line, obviously. They're going to add a new quest. It'll be something around fire, I hope, and getting us to the new Devil's Roar area and maybe showing us the lore. How did this happen? If there's like some evil fire lava going on. I don't know, going into the center of a volcano, finding some magic crap. That'd be really cool. I don't know what the quest is about. I, I don't think anyone does. But once it happens, we will know, guys. And I'm hoping it's going to be the best quest line yet and have the most story involved in it and bring new characters and new things that kind of stay permanently in the game. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Please sure like, comment, subscribe, share down below. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.